She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. Roses at your feet, baby girl be mine. Baby girl be mine. Hi guys, it's Aji. So for today's video, I am going to be trying out new skincare and new makeup. Um, I received a few PR from Sand and Sky and I also bought a lot of stuff from Shopee um, from different brands like Shiwan, Mafic, and She Glam. But yeah, this is the look that I came up with. So if you want to make Chica and if you want to know how I achieve this look then just keep watching. Good morning everyone. It's I think around 9 a.m. now, 9 or 10. So I've been awake for more than 19 hours now. <laughs> I can't sleep. So to pass the time today, I'm going to play with new makeup and skincare. I received skincare PR from Sand and Sky, so I'm going to try that out today. And I'm also going to try some of the makeup that I wasn't able to show you guys in my Shopee haul because it arrived the day after I filmed that video. So this is the bare face um i have a few zits popping out but anyway um also update i got glasses i'm going to use the russian smoky olive for today's video um, for now the rain is like stopped but i'm pretty sure it's gonna come back in full force in a few minutes because it's been raining day and night here in my city the sun came out last week for I think maybe an hour and I've never seen the sun again after that. I also made nails <laughs> to pass the time while it was um, around 5, no I think it was around 4 a.m. I really couldn't sleep so I started doing my nails and I realized I wasn't able to wear them today so I'm just going to put on my nails and I'll be right back. Okay so I now have my... <laughs> claws on i think it's really cute um they're like marbled with like shimmers in them i'm going to start off by using this toner from nasific it's the real floral rose toner I look stupid with the bow on but I don't want to see any comments about it and then next I'm going in with the serum from sand and sky it's their Tasmanian spring um, water serum and it looks like this inside it comes in a cute blue bottle I've been testing this out for a few days and so far I really like it. Like it absorbs into the skin really well. And I do feel that it hydrates my skin properly. Next, I'm going in with this Tasmanian Spring Water Hydration Boost Cream by Sand and Sky also. It comes in a similar packaging, uh, still like a blue glass and it looks like this inside. It's a proper cream. I'm just going to apply a little just to really prep my skin. This is like a really painful zit and it's bright red! This cream takes a few minutes to set in so um, I'm going to let it marinate on my skin. I don't have any new brow products, so um, I'm going to go with this. This is the Caroline Best Brow Liner in shade Dope. So I'm quickly going to do my brows off cam, and I'll be right back. So I'm back with my brows um, drawn on and concealed. It's looking a little blocky, I'm sorry. Um, I haven't put on makeup in quite a while. <laughs> Anyway, um, Sand and Sky also gave me these sponges, makeup sponges. It's called the Aussie Beauty Blending Sponge Kit. And it comes with three different 
um, beauty blenders in different shapes. I want to use this one. <laughs> I think it matches my nails. It's cute. So I'm going to use this one. Now we're going to move on to primer. So She Glam has this birthday skin primer. It says Smoothing Rose. I read the ingredients. The methicone is the third. So I suppose this is also going to be pore filling. It feels nice, yeah. By the way, I got these in the Shopee shop called sheglam.ph. I also bought their foundation. I only got the sample size because they don't offer the full-sized foundation bottle there yet. And also because I'm not sure what shade I am. So obviously, I went for the most yellow-looking one. And it's in the shade Sand. It covers the redness of my pimple. Mmm, that's, that's good. So far, I'm really liking this foundation. It's thin, it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. The sponge is good, it doesn't absorb that much product. So it's just a very light layer. I think it's buildable, but for now, I'm just really satisfied with how this is looking like. For concealer, I'm going to use this O2O Invisible Cover Foundation in shade HC03. This is a recent repurchase. This parcel just arrived. And it contains a few makeup that I ordered. What a good timing. Anyway, we're going to try out this powder. It's by the brand Tukomo. I'm just going to use enough to set the under eye. I obviously added too much. I'm already baking at this point. But, um... Let me try and like brush some away. You know what? We'll let that bake. Anyway, um, let's move on to the eyes. And for the eyes, um, I'm going to show you guys two of the palettes that arrived the day after I filmed the Shopee haul video. So I got one from the brand Shi Yuan. This is how it looks like. And it comes in this very, very cute packaging. Definitely very unique. I've never seen any palettes that are packaged like this. These don't really swatch that great. Um, but then again, I think I got these for around 180 180 or 150 something pesos and also another one that I got is this Mafic um, 9 color palette. This one feels a little more luxe. It comes in this sturdy packaging. It has like gold thingies around it. I'm going to go for this color. I feel like this is going to be a cute... Mm, wait, no. This is like a rose goldy bronze color. But this is how it's looking like. It's a good shimmer. Um, it feels very creamy and it's actually like pigmented. Um, what should I use? It doesn't transfer well to the fingers. I'm going to take this um, kind of brown shade and that uh, looks better. Oh, 
that's how it's looking like. I'm going to create a line on my eye fat to kind of exaggerate it a little. So that's it, I guess, for the eyeshadow part. I got two eyeliners. These are the Shishi Pretty Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. I got two colors, a reddish um, burgundy color one and then a brown one. I've been really obsessed with brown colored eyeliners lately. I'm going to use the brown one for this look. Um, this one has a felt tip applicator. <laughs> My hands are so shaky because I haven't slept. I feel like I also want to do the inner wing corner thing, so... And then I'm going to draw on fake lashes. Sadly, I can't do that on cam. I might mess up and that's very hard to clean up. So I'm going to do it off cam and I'll be right back with a finished left eye. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so remember when I told you guys that I bought from She Glampy H? Well, I have to admit that this is the thing that influenced that purchase. This is the She Glam All-in-One Volume and Length Mascara. I can see that my lashes here are very curled. Um, it's surprising me holding up the curl of my lashes very well. Let's try the volumizing side. It's definitely volumizing. It also lengthened the lashes a little. So yeah, I'm just going to do this on the other eye. So this is both eyes done. I'm definitely very impressed with the mascara. Anyway, I also bought another palette from She One. This is called the Chestnut 6 Color Blush Powder Tray. This is the Palette B. Palette B I got because it's more muted, whereas the A palette is a bit more red-centric. I think I want to go with this one. The pigment is okay, but then again, I'm not really expecting a very strong pigment from a blush. I kind of want to go hard on the blush though, so I'm going to take the, <laughs> the darkest color and tapping it on across the nose oh no wait that's a bad idea i'm going to go in with this one instead it's more intense than i expected for um bronzer i did not buy anything so i'm going to go with my favorite aoa pressed powder perfect pressed powder in 06 chestnut For contour, I'm going in with uh, this new contour palette from Focalure. It's their highlighter called Makeup Palette. It looks like this. Um, by the way, I'm using this one in shade 02 Champagne. I think it does a good job at contouring my nose and even though I apply a lot, it still kind of looks natural. <laughs> this isn't new, you guys already saw me use this in my Tao Yin um, makeup tutorial. I'm going to take this, I guess. This like 
shimmer shade that I don't think is cooperating with my brush. Uh, I don't think it. Alam mo itawa na lang natin yun. I'm sick of this palette. It's not. It's not that good. I'll try to use this like bronzy shimmer. Hopefully, oh, oh, okay. For lashes, I'm going to take this Mickey Wee. Um, I forgot what number this is. I really like this. It's been my favorite since I bought it. Okay, so while waiting for the lashes to dry, I'm going to line my lips. Um, where's my... And I'm going to use this Novo Fashion Brow Liner. Yes, I use a brow liner for lip liner. Get over it. Okay, so that's the eyes. I have this unopened Capuvini uh, lip gloss. Anyway, this is how it looks like. I got it in the shade 5. Oh, okay. I got it in this like brownish shade. I think it's... I think, it, I, I think I'm gonna like it. Okay, now... Wait. <laughs> this is a mauve shade so instead of that i'm going to use this um key best lip gloss in shade 02 this is ice milk tea you know what i think capovini will look good mixed or like layered on top of this So, I'm going to fix my hair, um, and I'll be right back. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. Roses at your feet, baby girl be mine. Baby girl be mine. Yeah. Hey guys, so this is the final look. First of all, I'm sorry if you can hear the construction next door. There's nothing that I can really do about it, so I'm sorry. But yeah, this is the look. Um, I didn't really plan for this, but I think it's okay. It's okay. Just, just okay. The lower lashes are very uneven. Um, so is the eyeliner <laughs> and everything else. But... Looking at it from afar, it definitely looks good. Like, I look cute, but uh, up close, you can see a lot of mistakes, whatever. Okay, so on the top of my head, what I do like is the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer and the She Glam Foundation. Those are chef's kiss. I really like also the Mickey Wee lashes. I think you guys already know how much I like them. Uh, the blush palette, I definitely have to play with a little more. I don't know how they look like on my skin when I have foundation on. So I don't know yet what shade works for me. This She One palette, I'm not sure if I can recommend this. It's definitely very cheap, but if you save up a little more money, you can buy something that's more pigmented and that's more workable. The Mafic one though it's really impressive i think this one is only a few maybe 20 or 30 pesos less than the she one palette there is a price difference but the quality does make up for it all of the shimmers are pigmented so are the mattes the packaging on this one too it's very minimal like it just has the brand mafic on it and it has a full-sized mirror and the packaging very firm very sturdy it feels very good on the hands the she glam mascara chef's kiss it's going to be my everyday mascara from now on 
I also really like this new contour palette from Focalure. Shade 02 Champagne Pop is definitely just the right shade for me. It has the right amount of brownness and ashiness for my skin tone to be able to contour. So if you think you're near my skin tone or even lighter, this going to work for you. So I tried two different lip glosses today. This one is by Key Best. I would say that the texture of this one is very similar to the Focalure Plump Max. It also has a slight plumping effect. This Capovini one is a very thin glossy lip gloss. It's not that opaque but it works very well. I think the lip combo actually really works. I like it. Kind of obsessed. I also really like this Beauty Blender by Sun and Sky. It blended the foundation seamlessly. It's very quick. Um, it's very soft too and it's easy to use. It does not absorb that much makeup as well. Uh, the skincare that I use is also Chef's Kiss. My skin feels really good and looking at it now, I think that my skin's like... My base is looking very good today. The eyeliner is very pigmented and it doesn't bleed. Um, the tip was fine enough for me to be able to do like these little hair-like strokes. I did not know what I was doing but this is the final look and I think it turned out well. My favorite part of this look is the base because the base looks very smooth and actually the lippy looks cute very natural and glossy that has been me trying out new skincare and makeup if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you like me make sure to follow me on all of my social medias and if you want to keep seeing content like this then consider subscribing to my youtube channel um comment down below what product you think was interesting or um if you have any video ideas just make sure to comment them down below and i'll make sure to check it out and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!